Hey everyone, in this video we'll be creating a Java guessing game with while loops. Get started here, we're going to have our comment section and we're just going to say guessing game. That's, that's, what, that's what we're doing today, so we're just going to say guessing game in our comment section at the top. And first we're going to create some variables. So our first variable is going to be int. We're going to say guessing number. Now always remember you guys can create and name it what ever you want it to name it uh, your variable so we're going to say guessing number random so we're going to have a random number that gets created so we can our users can guess what that number may be so next we're going to have uh, a boolean variable so our boolean variable is going to be answer guess equals and we're going to set this equal to false all right, so we have three variables. So now what we're going to do is we're going to import our scanner. So we need to import our scanner so we can get input from the user. So to do that, we're going to say scanner sc equals new scanner. And let's get our parentheses semicolon. And we're going to say system dot in. So we're going to get that input from the user and remember we have to import our scanner so add import all right so next we're going to get that input from the user right so let's create something so the user knows we want to get input from them so we're going to have a system that out that print line system that out that print line and this is what we're going to say to our user so we're going to create that string. So we're going to say, hello, what is your name? Question mark. Get that space. So we're asking the user, hello, hello user, what is your name? Next, we're going to say string name equals sc that next line semicolon. So we're going to get that input. So we're asking the user, hello, what is your name with this line? And we're going to get that input from the user with our string name. So we're creating a variable name. That's going to be a string that we're going to get from our user. So from this line, we're going to create our, our, random, our random number. So we're going to say random rand equals new random. We have to import our, our random semicolon. So let's import random. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to have another system that out that print line telling the user what's um, going to happen. So we're going to say, hey, let's play a, a guessing game. So system that out that print line. Alright, and we're going to ask that user or tell that user what's going on. So we're going to say, let's play a guessing game. And we're going to get that backslash in to create that space that we want. So backslash in just creates a space in our code. And you guys will see that once we run our code. So next we're going to say, now we're going to get our while loop. So we're going to say while. Remember our while loop is, so our our answer guess will be our while loop. So we got we created a boolean a variable which is a true false. So we're going to say while answer guess equals false. We want to run the code within our while loop, right? So whatever code we put here will continuously run until answer equals true. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that, or we're gonna have another system that out that print line, letting the user know, hey, we're starting the game now. What's gonna be your guess? All right, so we're gonna say system that out that print line. And we're gonna say, I, am thinking of a number between 0 and 
five. You only get three chances to guess. And so we're gonna create a for loop for our three chances, All right? So we're gonna enter that. We're letting the user know, hey, the game is started and you get three chances to guess a number, All right? So we haven't created our random number yet. So let's create our random, our random number. So we're gonna say guessing number random equals rand that next int All right so our, our guessing number is going to be we're going to start simple so we're going to have it up to five so remember what our random it starts with zero so this number will is is so six means zero through five so remember we're guessing a number between zero and five so six means five. So if you start at zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, that's six, six numbers if you include zero. So we're gonna have six. All right, so next we're gonna have our for loop. So we're gonna say four, and remember we're giving the user three attempts, right? So we're gonna create a variable, int attempts. So our variable name is attempts and it's going to be an int and we're going to set that equal to zero right and we're going to say attempts so as long as our attempts are less than three this loop will run right so let's put a semicolon and we're going to say attempts plus plus right and we need to get our curly brackets so so now we have a for loop so let's control S save that. So our while loop is set to false. So as long as our answer guess equals false, our while loop, this code will run. Now we have a for loop within our while loop. So our for loop, it says int attempt. So our variable is attempts and it's an int type and it's set, we set it equal to zero. As long as attempts are less than three, our attempts, our for loop will run, right? So now what we have to do is create, um, we have to get those random numbers, right? So let's say, let's let the user know system that out, that print line, All right? So we're gonna get that user, we're gonna let that user know what's going on. And we're gonna say, what number am I thinking of? Question mark space. So we're asking that user, hey, what number am I thinking of? It's a number between zero and five. So we're gonna say guessing number equals sc dot next int. All right, so we're gonna say sc dot next int. And get our parentheses, control S, save that. All right, so sc dot next int so we're gonna say if so now we have a, a if statement let's get our curly brackets in between that if statement is if, if guessing number is not so remember not equal to is exclamation equal it's not equal to guessing number random we want to sit, we want to print out a, a statement. So the statement we're gonna print out is, we're gonna tell that user no, that was not the correct answer. So let's get our system that out that print line. And we're gonna say no, let's get our, so no, that was not the number I was thinking. All right, so we're gonna let the user, hey, that's not the number I was thinking. And then we're gonna have an else statement. So remember our else statement, we're gonna put right after our curly bracket else, and then we're gonna get more curly brackets. So we're gonna say else system that out that print line. So tell the user, hey, that was the correct number, All right? So system that out that print line. All right, that is correct. 
I was thinking of the number. We're going to let the user know what that number was. So it's guessing number random. And let's just get a period at the end. All right. So if we read our, our code here, so we're going to create a new uh, random number. So we had to import our random function and we let the user know, hey, let's play a guessing game. So our while loop starts, right? So system that out that print line, we're asking the user, I'm thinking of a number between zero and five. Here, our guessing number random, our variable, we created a number between zero and five. So here is where we created our random number, int and six. So six, remember our six is that variable uh, zero to five. So we're looking for a number zero to five. All right, so that's where six comes in. If we had seven, it would be zero to six. If we had eight, zero to seven, so on and so forth. So now we have a for loop, for attempts. So this is where we're, we're getting our attempts. This is when we let our user know you only get three attempts to guess. So our first attempt, I had to go through this loop. So our for loop starts here, ends here. So it'll continuously run this until uh, the loop is done, right? So what we need is something to break our our loops in case the person got the question correct. So our else loop. So once our else loop is correct, what we're going to do is we're going to set our answer guess equal to true, right? So we have a while loop. Our while loop is from this bracket to this bracket. So while this is true or false in this case, our while loop will continue to go. So since we set our, our S L statement equal to true, once this is, once the system gets to this, our L statement, answer guess equals true and the program will end. Let's control S save that. So let's see. And I didn't put our name loop. So our name is just saying we never use this this variable name. So we're going to put our name variable here. So we're going to say name and we're going to get a space right here. And let's put a period right here. So control S save that. All right. So if we run this, let's get our code. Let's see what happens. So it says, what is your name? Let's say our name is Arsenio. Okay. Arsenio, let's play a game, a guessing game. I'm thinking of a number between zero and five. You only get three chances to guess. What number am I thinking of? All right. Zero to five. Let's try zero. It says, no, that was not the number I was thinking. What number am I thinking of? So remember, this is our for loop. So I'm going to say zero again so you guys can see how many times it goes through our loop. So no, oh man, I'm not getting it right. All right, so I'm going to guess zero one more time. No, that's not the number I was thinking of. So what happens is it exits our for loop. So if you, can, if you guys can see, it says I'm thinking of a number between zero and five. You only get three chances to guess. So what happened was it exited our for loop and went right back to our while loop. All right, so our while loop will continue as long as answer guess equals false. So we never got to our else statement because we never got the correct answer. So this number is a completely different number from this number that we just attempted to guess. So now let's try again. So zero. No, that was not the number I was thinking of. One. That is correct. I was thinking of the number one and it and it goes to our it goes through the loop again even though our answer was correct so what we didn't do was we need to exit our we need to set a condition that exits our for loop once we get it right so to do that we're going to say attempts equal 4 so if our attempts equal 4 it no longer meets this less than three criteria we have here, right? 
So let's stop this. And also what we're also going to do is add some other statements so you so it's easier for the user to guess. All right? So we're going to let the user know, "Hey, that wasn't the right number, but we're also going to tell the user whether it's a lower number or a higher number, right? So to do that, we're just going to add an if statement. So we're going to have an if right under our if statement within our if statement. So we're going to say if, remember our, our variable, guessing number. And for this first one, we're going to say if it's greater than our guessing number random and remember to get our curly brackets all right so if our guessing number is greater what we're going to tell the user so we're going to have a system that out that print line all right so we're going to tell the user your guess was a bit too high all right so we're letting that user know the number was too high, all right? So if we're going to let the user number, you know, know the number was too high, we're also going to let the no number or the user know the answer was too low, all right? So we're going to say if guessing number was less than guessing number random and remember curly brackets so if it's less than we're just gonna have that same system that out that print line and we're gonna say it was low right so your answer was too low let's copy that paste so too low All right, now that we have that all together, what we're going to do now is let's just run this and actually let's make this an else if statement. All right, so we're going to control S, save that. And let's run it. Let's see what happens. So, hello, what is your name? Arsenio. All right, Arsenio, let's play a guessing game. I'm thinking of a number between 0 and 5. You only get three chances to guess. What number am I thinking of? So let's say four. Okay, and it says, no, that was not the number I was thinking. Your guess was a bit too high. All right, so four is too high. What about three? Your guess was a bit too high. Okay, one. Oh, let's put one. And it says, I'm thinking of a number between so it says, no, that was not the number. Your guess was a bit too high. So the, the number had to be zero. But we got our, our three guesses here. And it goes back into our while loop. So we didn't get the correct answer. So it's going to continuously go. So this is a completely different number. So it's no longer the number that we were guessing here. So let's say our number is five. And it says, that is correct. I was thinking of the number five. And it exits the program right so let's also uh, let's also get another another uh, let the user know hey we're thinking of a number between these these numbers right so let's say let's have another else or an if statement and we're gonna say and we're gonna put our if statement right after our last if statement So we're gonna say if, let's get our curly brackets. Enter, enter. So let's say if guessing number is, let's say, what should the condition be? Let's say if it was greater than five, and less than or oh, actually yeah and so let's put our and statement and guessing number was less than or equal to 
nine. We're going to let the user know, hey, you know, the guess should be between the the numbers um, zero and five. So let's copy. We're just going to paste that. It says, and it, we're going to let the user know your guess. Or let's put remember. The number must be between zero and five. So we're actually going to um, yeah. So we're going to have between. So if it's less than, no, we're going to put greater than. So if it, the number is greater than five and less than nine less than and e or equal to nine or less than and equal to nine or equal to nine. So it has to meet these, both of these criteria for this statement to be read. And let's also add another if statement here. So remember what our, with all these if statements, if this is correct, it's going to print. If this is correct, it's going to print. If this is correct, it's going to print. And the else if statement, else if statement only prints if none of these are true. Right, so let's see. Actually, let's make this a if two. So we're gonna have a bunch of if statements within our if statement. So remember our if statement starts here and ends here. So all of these if statements are before our else statement within this first if statement. So if this is correct or if this is true, this will print. And then after this is, uh, this is red. If this is true, this will print. If this is true, this will print. If this is true, this will print. So all these statements will print if they're true. So for the next if statement, let's put eh, let's put if the number. So if and let's get our curly brackets. So if guessing number is greater than or so we're going to say greater than nine we're going to let the user know hey that was way too high the numbers are between you know in the, the same statement so copy that let's paste here so remember the number must be between zero and five so we're going to say that number was way too high <laughs> Then we're going to remind the user, hey, remember, the number must be between these numbers, right? So let's also add another if statement. And we're going to say, hey, if, you know, the same one, but too low. So we're going to say guessing number. Uh, let's see. So there's too many, too many brackets here. So let's say guessing number was well, less than so we're going to say less than now less than zero we're going to say that number was way too low all right so let's control s save that so let's let's look at the whole code here so we created three variables at the top we imported our scanner class so we can get input from the user ask the user what their name is we got the user's name and put it to our name variable so whatever our name variable is uh, we got that input from the user with this line we created a, a random number so this is our random so we had to import our random we asked the user or we told the user hey let's play a guessing game and added the the variable we got from the user when they input their name and next we went to our while loop so remember, our while loop starts here at this bracket, ends at this bracket. So everything within this while loop or this code right here is within this while loop. So our, our while loop will continue as long as the person, the individual, did not get the correct answer. So our while loop will continue, continue, continue. So we let the user know with this line, thinking of a number, told them the criteria that we're looking for is between 0 and 5. And we let them know they only get three chances. This is where our, our random number was created. 
So guessing number random equals rand.nextint. So our, our random number was created and our random number was between zero and five. And now we have our for loop. So our criteria for our for loop, we created the variable attempts and it's an int type and we set it equal to zero. And attempts, as long as attempts are less than three, our uh, for loop will run. Our for loop starts here at this bracket and ends at this bracket. So all of this is within our for loop. So as long as attempts is less than three, our for loop will run three times at the max. So once our once the code gets to our else statement, our code or our program will end because our answer guess will no longer be false. It's going to be true. And our attempts will no longer be less than three, but will be four. All right. So let's run this. Well, uh, so what do we do if we want the user to know what the answer was and it doesn't exit, right? So remember earlier, it just went uh, right back to our, our loop. So it says, I'm thinking of a number. So we should also let that user know, hey, what the correct number was, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that correct number right after we add our, so right after our for loop, right? So we're gonna figure out where our for loop is. So remember how you do that is you highlight the, the first bracket in our for loop and it should also highlight our second bracket. So for our for loop, we're gonna have a system that out that print line. All right, so this statement will let the user know what the correct answer was. So let's say the correct number was, and then we're gonna get that variable guessing number random So we're gonna get a period and we're gonna let the user know, thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. And we should also let the user know, hey, this, this is a new game, so it's gonna be a different number now. So let's copy that. Okay, and then we're gonna paste it and we're gonna say, so new string, this is a new number. This will, let's put this will be a new number. Guessing number, period. And let's space this last one. So let's get a backslash in. All right, control S, save that. So we're gonna, uh, get the incorrect answer hopefully if i guess the wrong number if i guess a high number it'll, it'll be incorrect so let's get the incorrect answer so you guys can see what we just did so let's raise that up what is your name all right let's play a guessing game i am thinking of a number between zero and five you only get three chances to guess what number am i thinking of so let's put 13. It says, no, that number, that was not the number I was thinking. Your guess was a bit too high. That number was way too high. Remember, the number must be between zero and five. All right. So we could um, put a criteria where it doesn't even read this one if it's way too high, right? So that's something else we could do. But for this demonstration, we're just going to keep getting the wrong number. So it tells us what the correct number is. So let's put a negative uh, six. All right, so it says that was that number was way too low. Remember, the number must between be between zero and five. The correct number was one. Thanks for playing. So I let the user know what the correct number was, so that the user isn't like, well, how do I know if I didn't guess the right number? It tells you what the number it was. It was guessing, and so now we let the user know this will be a new guessing number. I am thinking of a number between zero and five. You only get three chances. All right, let's 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 play again. Let's see if we can get it right. Uh, I got it right on the first try. So that was a good attempt. So now that I got it right on the first try, uh, the program exited. So now it lets the user know this is correct and I have an error here in my code. So 
I always guys walk through your code and delete error. So I deleted that error. So um, it won't print will will twice. So remember syntax errors, your program won't, won't run. However, misspellings within strings, your program will run. So that's something you guys would need to kind of take your time and walk through your code and read it um, line by one line just to make sure you're getting the output that you're expecting. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to see more.